Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Wednesday, March 29th, 2023. Today I'm going to recap yesterday's NIT semifinals and yesterday's NBA and NHL and Major League Baseball spring training games. Look ahead to today's games in each sport, with the exception of baseball. Um, soccer, golf, MLB Top 100 players, reality TV, news and notes and best bet. We'll start at the NIT. Um... We'll just quickly touch on the results from last night. North Texas over Wisconsin, 56-54. So best bet was a loser by a good six points as North Texas advances to the title game. And UAB over Utah Valley, 88-86 in overtime. So UAB advances to the final. And we're going to have an all-conference USA NIT championship game. So that is pretty neat. Utah Valley came close as a big underdog, but... They didn't come through. Um, Wisconsin, we'll see about Greg Gard's future with that school. And then these two CUSA teams are really good. And then their conference rival, Florida Atlantic's in the Final Four. So it's been a really decent march for Conference USA here. And then Utah Valley, like I said, made a great run in the NIT. And then Wisconsin, uh, hmm. they NIT... Um, appearances isn't what that school um, thrives for each and every year. All right, now we'll move on to the NBA. We'll go over the results from yesterday. Look ahead to tonight's slate. Wizards upset the Celtics 131-11. Hawks over to Cavs 121-18. Raptors over to Heat 106-92. Grizzlies over to Magic 113-108. Hornets over to Thunder 137-134. And the Warriors over to Pelicans 120-109. All right, big window tonight, 7 o'clock. You have the Bucks and the Pacers. My line is Milwaukee 12 and 3 quarters, total 231 and 3 quarters. Um, no Tyrese Halliburton in this game for Indiana. And it's 11 and a half and one, uh, 238 and a half. I love the under. Rockets, Nets. My line is Brooklyn 14 and a quarter, total 227 and 7 tenths. And it's 11 and 229. Um, I'm going to lay the 11 with Brooklyn. Um, Heat, Knicks from the Garden. My line's Knicks, 4.5, total 233 and 3 six, and three fifths, and it's 5 and 223. Whoo! Slight over. Map Sixers on ESPN, so Luka against Embiid, assuming Embiid's back. Um, my line's Sixers, 9 and a quarter, total 226 and a half, and it is. Four and two thirty one and a half. Um under. Um Lakers Bulls at eight. My line is the Bulls two and a half total two twenty nine and nine twentieths. And it's Lakers two and a half total two twenty seven. Um the Bulls have actually been playing good basketball lately, and they just beat the Lakers the other day. Give me the Bulls plus two and a half and plus one eighteen to win outright. Clippers, Grizzlies, my line's Grizzlies six and a quarter, total two twenty seven and three tenths. And it's four and two, thirty-two and a half. I like the under. Pistons Thunder. My line's Thunder nine and three quarters, so two thirty one and three quarters. And it's eleven and a half and two thirty one and a half. I can't believe it's that high without Shea Gil to salad because I under. Um slight lean pistons. Um Jazz Spurs. My line's the Jazz by eight, total two thirty four and seven tenths. And it's six and two thirty four and a half. Um, I'm gonna lay the six with the Jazz. Ten o'clock. ESPN Timberwolves Suns. The return of Kevin Durant. My line's Suns by three and three quarters. Total two twenty eight and three quarters. And it's five and two thirty six. I like the under. And last but not least, Kings Blazers. My line is the Kings by sixteen and a half. Total two thirty four and four fifths. And it's 14 and 237 and a half. I like the under in this one. All right, now move on to hockey. We'll go over the results from yesterday. And tonight is a smaller window. Rangers over to Blue Jackets 6 2. Preds over to Bruins 2 1. Wow, that's a crazy upset. Um, Lightning over to Canes. 4 0. Red Wings over to Penn, 7 4. Flyers over to Habs, 3 2. Blues over to Cucks, 5 6. No T. Stars over to Blackhawks, 4 1. Flames over to Kings, 2 1. 
Oilers over to Golden Knights 7-4, and the Sharks over to the Jets 3-0. Three games tonight, 730 of the Panthers and the Maple Leafs. You can make a case this should be the game on TNT, but it's not because of favoritism towards star player Ovechkin. But then again, it would be favoritism towards star player again in Austin Matthews, but the Leafs are better, and the Panthers um, are still in the mix a little bit. Um, each team's minus 110, over under 5.5, over is minus 110, under is minus 102, Isles plus 1.5 is minus 10, Caps minus 1.5 is plus 225, Islanders, Islanders need the game, taking a minus 110 on the road. Oh, wait, I just did Isles Caps instead. That's the TNT game tonight. And then Panthers leaps. Um, Leafs minus 146, Panthers plus 122, over under 7.5, over is plus 136, under is minus 168. Panthers plus 1.5 is minus 178, Leafs minus 1.5 is plus 146. Um, so, Panthers could take advantage here. Pittsburgh lost yesterday. Um, but I'm going to go with Leafs and regulation even money. 10 o'clock TNT, Wild Avalanche, great game. Avs minus 160, Wild plus 132, over under 5.5. Overs minus 130, unders plus 106. Wild plus 1.5 is minus 184. Avs minus 1.5 is plus 152. Um, For this one, I'm going to go with the fun one. And that is the tie at plus 350. All right, Major League Baseball spring training. We'll look at the dress rehearsal games. That were played um, yesterday, and there are no games today because everybody's traveling for opening day. Um, Nationals over the Yankees, three nothing. Um, Nats close spring training, thirteen and twelve. Yankees close thirteen and eighteen. Trevor Williams the win, Nestor Cortez the loss, and Taylor Ward the save. But the Yankee regulars only played for one at bat. Some of them too. So, um, that makes sense to why they lost. And then Cortez only pitched four innings. Um, Phillies over the Blue Jays, 6-5. Phils, 16-15. Toronto, 17-15. Um, getting the win was Albertus Barber in the loss. Adrian Hernandez. Bo Bichette homer in this game. Blue Jays had a lead. Phils came back and won it. And the Jays regulars had one at bat each, two at bats each. Same for the Phils regulars. Um, Braves over the Red Sox seven to five. The Braves finished spring training eighteen and ten. Boston finishes at five hundred fourteen and fourteen. Charlie Morton the win, Cutter Crawford the loss, and Trey Riley the save. Um, Tristan Casas, Masataka Yoshida, Orlando Arcia, and Connor Wong all homer in this game. Twins over the Pirates, 7-5. Twins finish spring training, 14-15. Pittsburgh finishes 9-18. Alex Scherf gets the win. Juan Manaya the loss. And Alex Phillips gets the save. Um, homering in this game, Kanan Smith Najiba for Pittsburgh. And... Seth Gray for Minnesota. Um, Rangers over the Royals, 5-3. Rangers finish 13-15 in spring. Casey finishes 19-13. John Gray the win. And Brooks Kirksky the loss. Hunter Dozier. Um, Michael Massey. Homer in this game for KC. Brewers over the Rockies, 8-1. Brewers finish spring 12-15. Colorado finishes 13-19. Freddie Peralta the win. And Ryan Feltner the loss. Luke Voigt and Jesse Winker homer in this game for Milwaukee. Cubs over the White Sox, 8-5. Cubs finish 17-12. Chicago finishes 12-14. Getting the win was Bailey Horn, the loss. Luke Schilling and the save, Jake Rindle. Homers. In this game, Romy Gonzalez from the White Sox 
Andrew Vaughn of the White Sox. Um, Luis Vasquez of the Cubs. And that's it. Diamondbacks over the Guardians 3-1. D-backs 16-14. Guardians 12-16. and 16. Christian Montez de Oca, the win. Xavier Curry, the loss. And Justin Martinez, the save. No homers in this game of notables. And then Angels over the Dodgers, 13 to 5. Angels finish spring, 18 to 11. Dodgers finish 14 and 13. Kenny Rosenberg gets the win. And Taylor Scott, the loss. Notable homers Hunter Renfro, Luis Rengifo. And that's it. All right, so all the fun gets underway tomorrow. We'll pick or give out picks for every game from a gambling standpoint. So we're looking forward to that. All right, now we'll go to soccer. We'll recap the games from yesterday. And I don't know what we have in store today. We have some, but not a lot. Um, Africa Cup of Nations qualifying. Um, Copa Verde over Iswantini, 1-0. Um, Ecuador, Guinea over Botswana, 3-2. Namibia over Cameroon, 2-1. Egypt over Malawi, 4-0. Senegal over Mozambique, 1-0. South Africa over Liberia, 2-1. Gambia over Mali, 1-0. Uganda over Tanzania, 1-0. Togo and Burkina Faso, 1-1 draw. Ivory Coast over Comoros Islands, 2-0. Tunisia over Libya, 1-0. And Mauritania over Congo, DR. I'm sorry, that was a 1-1 draw. One game today. Um, it's underway. Rwanda and Benin. And then we don't see... Um, this uh, qualifying until um, June 11th. Um, and then um, we have... The UEFA Women's Champions League. Um, we have two games today. 12-45, second leg. Barcelona and Roma. Barcelona wins 1-0 on aggregate. Um, so Barcelona's minus 1,800. AS Roma's 41 the one The draws plus... 950. Barcelona is just a machine. Under two and a, or under three and a half goals at plus 108. And three o'clock, Arsenal and Bayern. Bayern leads 1 0 on aggregate. Um, Arsenal's minus 110. Bayern's plus 250. Draws plus 250. I'm going to go with the draw at plus 250. I think that that's a. Uh, Competitive game. Mexican League at tonight, 11 o'clock. You have Querétaro and Cruz Azul. Um, Querétaro's plus 220, draws plus 230. Cruz Azul's plus 115. I'm going with Cruz Azul plus 115. Um, so I want to quickly touch on, um, international friendly, um, results. Um, so, Ecuador over Australia, 
2-1. Sakela's over Bangladesh, 1-0. Colombia over Japan, 2-1. Uruguay over South Korea, 2-1. Nepal and Bhutan, 1-1 draw. India over Kyrgyz Republic, 2-0. Indo- Indonesia and Burundi, 2-2 draw. Malaysia over Hong Kong, 2-0. Armenia and Cyprus 2-2 draw. Iran over Kenya 2-1. United Arab Emirates is over Thailand 2-0. Uzbekistan and Venezuela 1-1 draw. Jordan over Philippines 4-0. Bahrain over Syria 1-0. Belgium over Germany 3-2. Kuwait over Tajikistan 2-1. Bolivia over Saudi Arabia 2-1. Morocco Peru 0-0 draw. Argentina over Carrasco. Curacao 7 0. And then, um, I want to do, um, the results from, uh, the, um, Qualifying, um, Portugal over North Macedonia 2-0 and Poland over Sweden. one nil. Oh, wait. That might have been from last year. Oops. And, um, and then UEFA European Championship qualifying results from yesterday. Georgia, Norway, 1-1 draw. Kosovo, Andorra, 1-1 draw. Romania over Belarus, 2-1. Scotland over Spain, 2-0. Switzerland over Israel, 3-0. Croatia over Turkey, 2-0. Wales over Latvia, 1-0. Um, CONCACAF Nations League, um, Haiti over Bermuda, 3-1. Turks and Caicos over Bonaire, 2-1. Guyana and Montstreet, 0-0 draw. St. Martin over U.S. Virgin Islands, 2-1. Canada over Honduras, 4-1. Panama over Costa Rica, 1-0. And that's really it for uh, Notable Soccer. Now move on to golf. Um, The next tournament up is the Valero Texas Open from San Antonio. Um, Tea times tomorrow, 8.30 a.m. Henrik Norlander, Alex Smalley, Scott Piercy, Ryan Palmer, James Hahn, Dylan Fratelli, 8.41 Mark Hubbard, Zach Blair, Nate Watney, um, Joseph Bramlett, Bayo Hassler, Ricky Barnes, 852. Um, Patton Kazir, Sam Ryder, Sungu Kim, Ben Martin, Kevin Chapel, Thomas Dietrich, 903. Matt Wallace, Nicholas Echevarria, JB Holmes, Matt Kuchar, Stuart Sink, 914. Grayson Higo, Lucas Griffin, Sepp Strzok, and Nate Taylor, Brendan Todd, Adam Putnam, 925. Tyler Duncan, Hank Lebiota, um, Lucas, Francesco Lenari, Lucas Glover. I'm just going to go through the notables. 936, Davis Riley, Kramer Hickok, Bryce Garnett, Andrew Landry, Chester V, Brian Stewart. 947, Adam Shank, Matthias Schwab, Kevin Tway, Jimmy Walker, Kevin Strillman. 958, Doc Redman, Lucas Hodges, Nate Lashley, Kelly Kraft, Adam Long. 1009, NJ Doffe, Michael Gilgic, um, Nate Hojard. 10.20, Nate Hardy, Aaron Rice, Scott Stevens. 10.31, um, Brent Grant, Austin Eckroat, Harry Higgs. 1.25, Russell Fox, Will Gordon, Dylan Wu, Brandon Wu, Taylor Hendricks, Patrick Rogers. 1.36, Ben Taylor, Ben Griffin, Jason Duffner, Ryan Ramore, Russell Knox, Dylan Lingworth. 1.47, Matthew Neesmith, Robbie Shell, and Callum Tower, and Alex Loren, Lucas Donald, Troy Merritt. 
158, J.J. Spawn, Richie Runsky, Cam Chad, Ricky Fowler, Martin Laird, Hideki Matsuyuma. 209, Chad Ramey, Trey Mullinax, Cam Davis, Michael Thompson, Chris Kirk, Tyrell Hatton. 220, Saiwo Kim, Evan Van Royan, Corey Connors, Charlie Hoffman, Joaquin Herman, Emiliano Grillo. 231, Justin Lauer, Eric Cole, Austin Smotherland, Hayden Buckley, um, Taylor Montgomery, and Jason Hadley. 242, Doug Gibb, Grayson Sieg, Austin Cook, Michael Kim, Sudi Kudiara, and Peter Malnati. 253, Kristen Ziedenhout, Max McGreevy, Ryan Moore, Paul Haley. 304, Andrew Novak, Kevin Roy. 315, Victor Norman, Matthias Schmidt, Cam Young, Estelanzo Goya. And 326, Kevin Westerman, um, Scott Harrington, and Harrison Endicott. Um... This is not, like, your typical loaded tournament. And, obviously, people are taking this one off because the Masters is next week. Which is the big one that everybody wants to see and everything. Last week was a winner with Matt Wallace. My pick to win this tournament is at 25-1. to 1. I think that... um. He's somebody that um, wants to uh, get off to a, a nice um, before the uh, Masters. Um. This is someone that won the Masters, believe it or not, two years ago. And I believe that this golfer might want just a nice little start before it. Um, So I'm just going to lay a fifth of a unit on Hideki Matsuyama. To win the Valero Texas Open. As I think. um, He wants to. um, Get going before the Masters here. Alrighty. Now I'm going to do my Major League Baseball top 100 players list. Um. With the season starting tomorrow, um, 100 to 1, you know the drill. All right, so I have a couple of um, honorable mentions. Now I'm going to list them in order of where I had them ranked. So the last player I'm going to say is the is pretty much number 101 on the on the player rankings, per se. So the honorable mentions. Nathaniel Lowe, Rangers. Andrew Vaughn, White Sox. Rowdy Slez, Brewers. Brandon Drury, Angels. Nico Horner, Cubs. Corbin Carroll, Diamondbacks. Ryan McMahon, Rockies. Jonathan India, Reds. Whit Merrifield, Blue Jays. Robbie Ray, Mariners. Andrew Benintendi, White Sox. DJ LeMayu, Yankees. Christian Javier, Astros. Saya Suzuki Cubs, Cedric Mullins Orioles, Lucas Giolito White Sox, Nicholas Castellanos Phillies, Tyler O'Neill Cardinals, Tristan McKenzie Guardians, Pablo Lopez Twins, Ryan Helsley Cardinals. So those are your honorable mentions. 21 players. All right, now the real list. 100, Tim Anderson, White Sox. 99, Anthony Santander, Orioles. 98, Carlos Rodon, Yankees. 97, Kevin Gossman, Blue Jays. 96, Tyler Glasnow, Rays. 95, Kate L. Marte, Diamondbacks. 94, Jack Flaherty, Cardinals. 93, Brandon Nimmo, Mets. 92, Tony Gonsolin, Dodgers. 91, Glaber Torres, Yankees. 90, Josh Hader, Padres. 89, O'Neill Cruz, Pirates. 88, Sterling Marte, Mets. 87, Giancarlo Stanton, Yankees. 86, J.D. Martinez, Dodgers. 85, 
Jorge Soler Marlins, 84, Logan Gilbert Mariners, 83, William Contreras Brewers, 82, Sean Murphy Braves, 81, Anthony Rizzo Yankees, 80, Brandon Lau Rays, 79, Zach Gallon D-backs, 78, Ty Oscar Hernandez Mariners, 77, Jeremy Pena Astros, 76, Marcus Simeon Rangers, 75, Emmanuel Clase Guardians, 74, Bobby Wood Jr. Royals, 73, Alejandro Kirk Blue Jays, 72, Jeff McNeil, Mets. 71, Chris Bryant, Rockies. 70, Joe Musgrove, Padres. 69, Spencer Strider, Braves. 68, Matt Chapman, Blue Jays. 67, Randy Arizrena, Rays. 66, Bo Bichette, Blue Jays. 65, Brandon Woodruff, Brewers. 64, Jose Abreu, Astros. 63, Luis Arez, Marlins. 62, Dansby Swanson, Cubs. 61, Ozzy Albies, Braves. 60, Logan Webb, Giants. 59, George Springer, Blue Jays. 58, Aloy Jimenez, White Sox. 57, Devin Williams, Brewers. 56, Fromber Valdez, Astros. 55, Kyle Schwarber, Phillies. 54, Michael Harris II, Braves. 53, Shane McClanahan, Rays. 52, Adley Rutschman, Orioles. 51, Lewis Robert, White Sox. 50, Wilson Contreras, Cardinals. 49, Aaron Nola, Phillies. 48, Shane Bieber, Guardians. 47, Will Smith, Dodgers. 46, Byron Buxton, Twins. 45, Clayton Kershaw, Dodgers. 44, Xander Bogarts, Padres. 43, Salvador Perez, Royals. 42, Brian Reynolds, Pirates. 41, Luis Castillo, Mariners. 40, Zach Wheeler, Phillies. 39, Garrett Cole, Yankees. 38, Justin Verlander, Mets. 37, Max Scherzer, Mets. 36, Corey Seager, Rangers, 35, Wander Franco, Rays, 34, JT Realmuto, Phillies, 33, Matt Olson, Braves, 32, Francisco Lindor, Mets, 31, Carlos Correa, Twins, 30, Dylan Cease, White Sox, 29, Alec Manoa, Blue Jays, 28, Austin Riley, Braves, 27, 27, Alex Bregman, Astros, 26, Kyle Tucker, Astros, 25, Fernando Tatis Jr., Padres. 24, Jacob DeGrom, Rangers. 23, Freddie Freeman, Dodgers. 22, Peter Alonso, Mets. 21, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Blue Jays. 20, Jose Altuve, Astros. 19, Corbin Burns, Brewers. 18, Max Fried, Braves. 17, Julio Urias, Dodgers. 16, Paul Goldschmidt, Cardinals. Four, or 15, Rafael Devers, Red Sox, 14. Julio Rodriguez, Mariners, 13. Ronald Acuna Jr., Braves, 12. Jordan Alvarez, Astros, 11. Trey Turner, Phillies, 10. Juan Soto, Padres, 9. Jose Ramirez, Guardians, 8. Manny Machado, Padres, 7. Nolan Arenado, Cardinals, 6. Bryce Harper, Phillies, 5. Sandy Alcantara, Marlins, 4, Mookie Betts, Dodgers, 3, Mike Trout, Angels, 2, Shohei Otani, Angels, and number 1, Aaron Judge, New York Yankees. Yes, Aaron Judge is the best player in baseball, not the two guys that play in Anaheim that are losers in terms of whether their teams are good or not. Um, Aaron Judge deserves this honor. He was the best player last year. He should have been the unanimous MVP last year, but apparently uh, two-way players deserve MVP over someone that hits 60 home runs. And, oh, yeah, and that two-way player pitches on and hits on a lousy team. So, um, Aaron Judge, you can make a case, has been the best player in baseball since his rookie season in 2017. If he wasn't hurt all, a lot, then he probably would have multiple MVPs, including in 2017 when he battled that injury and Jose Altuve won it over him. He, he should have won that year. 2018, he was on his way to an MVP until Jacob Junis threw at his wrist. The COVID year, he could have been on his way to the MVP, but he got hurt that year too. And he was a good player in 2021. He was in the MVP conversation in 2021. But 
the Yankees weren't really that good that year. And uh, Shohei Otani, I know the Angels stunk that year too, but was otherworldly that year. Otani was my number one player coming in the last year, and he deserved it because he was the MVP. And I thought the Angels were going to be better than they ended up being last year. So that was a part of it as well. And Mike Trout, he's still a good baseball player. But he's very injury prone. Mookie Betts, really fun player to watch. Probably the best player in the National League, if you ask me. Sandy Alcantara is the horse. The horse ace pitcher that everybody wants. He deserves to be in the top five. Bryce Harper probably would have been in fifth had he not gotten Tommy John surgery. So that kind of bumps him a spot. Nolan Arenado, I think, is an all-around fabulous player. I think he's going to be an NL MVP. Manny Machado and Juan Soto, so two Padres in the top ten. They'll probably split MVP votes. Jose Ramirez is my AL MVP pick. I gave that away on the baseball predictions show last night. I have him in the nine spot. And even you can make a case players 11 through 16 have a case to be in the top ten. Or even all the way down to 23 at Freddie Freeman. Like, the top 25 players in baseball, loaded. Even the top 30s loaded. Even the way all the way down to 50. There's so much talent in this game. A lot of talent. So it's really hard to put this list together each and every year. I'm probably going to get screamed at because I didn't put Otani at one. Well, guess what? How about Otani makes the playoffs and maybe somebody doesn't hit 60 home runs in the season? Maybe I would. So there you have it for the top 100 players list for the 2023 Major League Baseball season. All right, now we'll move on to the Mass Singer um, new episode tonight. Um, so two new contestants, and we have um, the McCaw coming back to try to get to the quarterfinals against two new contestants. Um, McCaw performed um, Live Like You Were Dying by Tim McGraw. Um, my guess for McCaw, Neal Horan of One Direction, it, this just gives me the Harry Styles vibes. So I'm, that's why I think it's somebody from One Direction. And Jenny guessed Zayn Malik of One Direction. Nicole said Doug Rob. And Robin said Elijah Wood. And then the two that run masked. Um, Fairy, she performed um, Angel from Montgomery by Bonnie Raitt. Um, she went home second. She was in the battle royale against McCaw. Um, I thought it was Vanessa Williams. Nicole said Tracy Ellis Ross. Jenny said Karen Fox. Robin said Lori Harvey. Ken said Jennifer Addison, which was an awful guess. And it was Holly Robinson Pete, which was awesome to see. I think they were intending Fairy to go home on the Sesame Street episode because their dad played the original Gordon. But no, it can't always work out like that, Mass Singer. It just so happened that the Ram. Uh, two seasons ago, survived until Eric Stone Street showed up and then you unmasked him um, when he was there for uh, Joe Buck. So, um, can't always work out like that. And then the Axel Toll got unmasked first. Um, her performance was to um, Can't Fight the Moonlight by Leanne Rimes. Um, my guess for this was Trish Stratus, the wrestler. Jenny said Alexa Bliss. Robin said Nikki Bella. Ken said Brie Bella. Nicole said Michaela Maroney. And it was Alexa Bliss as Jenny was correct. At gunpoint, I don't think McCall makes the quarters. I think there's going to be a standout contestant, whether it's a male or a female. And 
that standout contestant goes against the California Rolls and Medusa before they unleash the new group starting next week. Um, so it's going to be fun. And Survivor, um, it was an interesting episode last week. Um, I believe we had two challenges last week. Um, yeah, there was two, um. The reward challenge is where a tribe member at a time climbed a structure and hit a faraway target using a slingshot. First two tribes hit all five targets, one a tarp. The large one for the winning tribe, the small for second. And um, Soka won reward. Ratu came in second and... Tika came in third. And then Immunity, one tribe member at a time, um, had to go in an obstacle course in the ocean, jumping to get keys in the process. And then after they get the keys, the players unlocked puzzle pieces to a big jigsaw puzzle. And the first two tribes to solve their puzzle won Immunity. Soka won again. Ratsu came in second again. Which sends Tika to Tribal. And then. Last week was the episode. Where uh, we saw. Some player switch tribes. Uh, as those three players took a trip. Um, and Soka got to pick the two. On the other two tribes. As Soka lost Josh to Tika. Tika lost Carson to Ratu, and Ratu lost Jamie to Soka. So, um, Tika directed a plan to vote out Josh with Carolyn as the decoy vote, but that didn't sit well with Carolyn, so her and Josh contemplated making a move against Sarah using Josh's idol that he told Carolyn about, and at Tribal, Josh played the idol on himself, to negate the two votes that he got from Jam Jam and Sarah. And Carolyn joined him in blind signing Sarah as Jam Jam was shocked. Um, so interesting uh, tribal as Sarah goes home, courtesy of Josh playing his idol, which was the right move, or else it would have been a tiebreaker. And who knows, maybe Carolyn would have changed over to Josh. So that was the best move of the episode with him using the idol. Worst move of the episode was definitely Jam Jam telling Carolyn that she was going to be the decoy vote because Carolyn was offended. There was a couple of bad decisions, but that was one of them. And um, I loved the part of the episode with the uh, tribe swap from last week. And I said this last week, I'll say it again. At gunpoint, my winner pick right now... I would say Danny. I had Sarah the first several weeks. But she didn't even make it to the merch. I really like Danny. On the uh, Soka tribe. And then next to go home... I'm going to say Brandon from the Ratu tribe. Alrighty. News and notes for the day. Um, so Sergio Romo made a final waltz at spring training before retiring with the Giants. So congratulations to Sergio Romo on his retirement um Keston Hura outrighted the AAA after clearing waivers as he is staying with Milwaukee 
a big contract extension. Uh, Guardians and Andre Jimenez, Andre Jimenez, seven year deal, one hundred six and a half million. That is a nice payday for him after having a nice year last year. Um, a lot of basketball that we have to get to. Um, couple of draft entries. Um, Tariq Whitehead enters the draft. Um, he was the number two prospect in the class of 2022. And Keontae George, who's a projected top 10 pick from Baylor. Um, USC commit is recruiting, um, Bronny James who is Isaiah Collier of USC. And then Bronny played in the McDonald's All-American game. And he was hitting some big shots. As Bronny can get $7.2 million in an NIL deal. So we'll see about that. Um, Ed Cooley got a couple of Providence recruits to flip the Georgetown. Um, forward Drew Fielder. And... Guard Kayvon Mulready. As uh, he got one guard and one forward to flip, so that's big for that school. Um, some NBA stuff. Um, there was a report that uh, Rockets head coach Stephen Silas broke down in tears earlier in the season because he couldn't connect with his players. And then... Brian Windhorst issued his correction and says that Steven Silas was breaking down in tears after a game was inaccurate. So, um, that's weird. Um, Draymond Green says that he um, started last night's altercation with Brandon Ingram after Warriors so start. We had to find some energy somewhere, he said. 2023 Basketball Hall of Fame class revealed a ton of monster names. Dwayne Wade, Dirk Nowitzki, Paul Gas- Pau Gasol, Tony Parker, Becky Hammond, Greg Popovich. Among those being enriched. So those are some monster names that deserve it so much. Um, the Blazers essentially shut down Damian Lillard as he is unlikely to play the remainder of the season with the Blazers five games out of the play-in. They're obviously tanking. He's not playing. Um, the center, Nurkic isn't playing. Jeremy Grant's not playing. Ernie Simons is not playing. They are tanking. We talked about earlier, Kevin Durant back tonight against the Timberwolves, barring a setback, so that's wonderful news. For the Suns. Um, some football news. Um, Lamar Jackson defends his injury history. As he calls out the critics. Who says he set out last season to avoid getting hurt. Um, also the Patriots will not pursue Lamar. Despite Meek Mill's text. New England going after Jackson. Is just not going to happen. Jim Irsay, no fully guaranteed deals as Colts owner does not believe fully guaranteed contracts are good for the NFL amid Lamar rumors. He's right. They're not. All right, so commanders receive a $6 million, a $6 billion bid. It was an ownership group, including Magic Johnson, submitted an offer that meets Dan Snyder's $6 billion asking price. And then there's a second one from Canadian billionaire Steve Apostopoulos and also submits fully funded bid to buy the franchise. NFL players can wear number zero as league owners just approved proposal to allow players to wear number zero, which is cool. Some Falcons news. They plan to start Desmond Ritter. As Arthur Smith confirms Atlanta will hand the case to, to Desmond Ritter. The plan is to start Desmond, he says. Falcons signed Calais Campbell to a one-year deal after three years with the Ravens. So that's a nice veteran ad 
for Atlanta. Patrick Mahomes dislikes Thursday night football change as the NFL announced that teams can now have two Thursday night football games per season. Limit was one, now let's change. As flexing is for Thursday night football is not happening for now. As Ari Murov of my um he's at my sports update on Twitter. As Patrick Mahomes retweets him and puts the uh, face plan emoji. So he does not like that. Um, Calvin Ridley to take advantage of the NFL's rule changes. He'll wear number zero for the Jaguars. Ron Rivera says the commanders may draft a quarterback with in the first round as they'll look at every avenue in position with the 16th overall pick. The Giants and the Lions will have a joint practice during week one of the preseason, so that's pretty cool. The NFC North presumptive favorites against the team that uh, um, made the playoffs last year that some may say was an aberration. Um, Draymond Green's reaction to Kerr taking him out last night after the scuffle was hilarious as uh, Dre getting sub went viral. Um, hockey, the Bruins paid tribute to the victims of the shooting at the Confidence School before their game against the Predators. That was really nice of the Bruins. I'm sure a lot of teams are going to be doing that. Um, Jonathan Tate's shocked by the Patrick Kane trade as he admits the Rangers jersey looks good on Patrick. I hate to say that. <laughs> Um, soccer news. Um, Julie Ertz back with the U.S. women's national team as she joins the squad for the Ireland friendlies, her first call up since the 2021 Summer Olympics. Um, so Leo Messi scored his 100th Argentina goal. So that was pretty cool. Barca steals the Martinez deal as Inigo Martinez has verbal agreement with Barcelona for the summer move. So that is big news there. And John Cena shouts out Caitlin Clark on Twitter, which was pretty cool. All right, last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, I'm only going to weigh a fifth of a unit on best bet today because... Um, I don't really feel good about a lot of things on the board. So, I'm going to go with an NBA total. That jumped out at me. Star player hurt on Indiana. I'm taking under 238 with Pacers box only. A fifth of a unit. So under 238 between the Bucks and the Pacers for my best bet of the day. All right, that's it for the show. I'll be back tomorrow recapping everything from yesterday and looking ahead to everything going on tomorrow, including opening day. Have a great day, everyone.